Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackie and I hope everyone's having a great day. So I'm taking a break from the paranormal videos today because I've seen so many comments asking me to do a full van tour. So that's what I'm gonna do. But before we start that, I just wanted to show you guys something real quick. So just gonna say, if you don't like snakes, skip this part. I'll put the time card of what time this is gonna be done, but skip forward now if you don't like snakes but i just got my first snake ever it i got it this morning i just set up its cage and everything or its tank i don't really know what it's called but i'll show you guys right now i need to try and find her <laughs> okay so here's her little setup i'm probably gonna get some more stuff for her but let's see i was holding her she's super friendly she's a little baby okay I still don't have a name for her, so suggest some names down in the comments, but let's try to find her. Hello. I found her. <laughs> that scared me for a second. But it's okay. I don't know if you can see her. She's super cute. She's pink and white. Oh, she's so sweet. Since she just got here, I'm not trying to like take her out a bunch and like scare her. I'm just letting her adjust to her surroundings right now, but look at her polka dots. Help me think of a name. Leave it in the comments what you guys think I should name her. She's so cute. She's really tiny though. She's two months old. Okay. I'll keep you guys updated on her, but I love her already. <laughs> One last thing. Here's Samantha. Her wig keeps popping off. So I'm gonna go today and get her her wig glue. But <laughs> here she is. Okay, so that's it for the snakes. I just wanted to show you guys her real quick because I just got her. I'm super excited. If you have any tips for new snake owners, let me know because, like I said, she's my first snake ever. So, yeah. But anyway, now that I showed you guys that, let's get straight into the van. <laughs> so, this is what the back entrance looks like. What? Okay, so this is what the back looking in looks like. And right when you walk up to it, we have our little folding tables. So I just untie that, flip that out, and you're good to eat your meal or drink your coffee or hang out outside. And we have one on each door. Okay, so then when you're all done, just push it there, loop this around, and you're good to go. Again, you can see we have the table, the bench seats, and I go pick up the cushions in the next couple days, but, so here's my bench seats, and these open up and it has storage, so I just have my shower stuff. This is just a bag of screws, but, the snack box is up there. That's in that bench seat, but then if you come over to this one, we have all the electronics. So this is my 12 volt battery. It is um, a VMAX tank, 85 amp hours. So it lasts me a good while. And then I have my blade fuse box. All my positive and negatives connect right to that so I don't have to ground it to the actual van. And yeah, that's all that's in here right now. Moving over here, I have my fan remote. I put this on Velcro, which is super nice. So, so that just turns right on. Yeah. Whoops. Just turn it off. And when I'm done with that, just stick it right here and keep it nice and organized. And then these are all my lights. So this is the master switch and these are called switch bots. So it's voice activated or I can control it off my phone. Like if I'm driving or 
up there and too lazy, I can just say turn the light on or control it from my phone to turn it on. So plug in my phone and any USB, which is super nice. Okay, so that's all my lights and electronics. Well, not all the electronics, but most of it. We have our table that I just made. If you want to see me make it, go over to my TikTok and you'll see all of it, but I absolutely love it. I used to have a bigger table, but it was just way too bulky. So I made a new one. You'll see how it works in just a minute. Okay, I'm sorry, it's so messy in here right now, but this is just my little projector. I usually keep that up here or in this drawer. Then my projector screen, which is electronic and it rolls right up. I have my remote for the projector screen and when I'm done watching it, just rolls right up. This is a chalkboard paint. So this is just paint I got from Home Depot and it's chalkboard. So I don't have a towel right now, but you can see it just wipes right off. Okay. Okay, nice. Shouldn't have done that. And so I made this little thing the other day. It's just like a little shelf to hold spices. So there's Velcro on it, so it sticks up there. A drawer for little stuff like my pens and all that, you know, just normal household stuff. Then a little cupboard under here. I'm probably gonna keep all the dogs like water bowls and stuff like that in here. I made this countertop also and yeah, then this sink part comes out and becomes a chopping board, like that. Little kitchen area, and I love it. Then going up here, it's just another overhead storage area. And then just more drawers for like probably forks and knives. I have to get some, but that's that. Then you open this up, it's the whole plumbing system. Gray water tank and my fresh water tank. So basically I fill up this tank and then I fill up this tank with water, the hose goes in it and makes its way out to this foot pump. And so when you push on the pump with your foot, it causes pressure to build up, which shoots the water up into this little cord right there, up into the faucet. Then you turn it on and water pours out of it and goes down the drain into this white pipe, which leads into the gray water tank. This is just the projector box. So it just drops down when I'm ready to watch TV. I have Hulu, Netflix, everything on this little projector. I love it. Here's my fridge I'm using. So this is what the inside looks like. It's a fridge and freezer. So that just plugs into any, to like the cigarette lighter port, or you can plug it in to like a power bank. Which brings me to my power bank that I have my LED lights and the thing I need to charge will go through this. It lasts for a really long time. Okay, so like I said, it's super messy on the floor right now, but this is just a little box I made for when I surf and I have wet clothes. There's a bunch of random stuff in here right now, but it's waterproof inside, so I'm going to be keeping my wetsuits and wet bathing suits, stuff like that, in here. And I can store this in one of the bench seats or just put it wherever. Okie dokie, what's next? So down here, I'm sure you've seen this, but just you guys named the van Vanny DeVito. So it just says Vanny DeVito welcomes you. LED lights running through the entire van. I need to put that end up still, but yep, just like LED lights in any other room or whatever, you can change all the colors. And then I can also control it from right there. But yeah, I love it. I like it around this faucet right here. That's my favorite part of it. And down behind it. When I'm ready to go to bed, and like I said, I still need to pick up the um, actual cushions, but all I do is pop this off. So it goes all the way up and just pull it right off goes there, and you just untwist it, pop the leg right in there, set that there, like that. 
And then I just have one other piece of wood that fits right in the storage space that just pops right at the end like that. Okay. These are what I've been using for now until I pick up the cushions, but the cushions will be just normal like bench seat cushions that will fold out into the bed, so. too though just as like little mattress toppers but so that's the bed then you just throw on all your little pillows and it's nice because I can sleep this way or this way I fit both ways so <laughs> it's cool so there's the bed okay so that's the bed Super soft and comfy. Uh, but, oh, this lighting is this lighting's terrible and my hair is crazy. But, um, what else is there? So, I still need to get like curtains to cover everything up. At night, I bought some and put them up and I absolutely hated them. So, I need to get like, um, I've seen some people have these like window insert type things for their vans. So, I need to get some of those. Ah. Oh, my hair is crazy. Bun tutorial. I think there's Velcro stuck in my hair, but twist and tuck. That's it. Okay, so I'll show you guys the shower. I just installed it like a couple days ago, but so this piece is permanently mounted there. It doesn't move or anything. So when I want to take a shower, See if I can just roll that, okay. So here's my shower liner. I need to get a shower curtain still, but. Okay. Super simple. I just take these rods, push them together. Like that. So now it's almost a square. Then I take my shower curtain. And then just start threading it through this. Head up here. Push it in those holes. And boom, there's the shower. So this is what it looks like when I'm in the shower. In case you haven't seen the van, this is the outside of it. It's a Ford Econoline 1989. So, this is what it looks like. So that's the outside of it. Now I'm gonna show you guys the roof rack. And also if you guys think there's something I'm missing in the van or like something you think I should add to it, let me know. I'm just trying to make it the most convenient in having everything I need. So then going on top of the van, I still need to get a ladder, but 
This is what the rooftop deck looks like. So I can go up there, hang out at the beach, watch the stars, just chill. I love it up here. I go up here like every night and just hang out. It's so relaxing. But yeah, so let me know if there's anything I should add to the van, what you guys think of it so far. I love it. It's like a little home. I want this. I love converting the van. It's so much fun. I want to do another one. I really want to do another one. And there's like another project I've been wanting to do like forever. I don't know if. So I basically have always wanted to make like a little shed in my backyard and like live out there instead of in my house. So I have my own space since I like don't have enough money saved to move out yet or anything. And with COVID and everything, it's just like not the right time. So I've always wanted to make a little shed in the backyard and <laughs> live out there. So I want to do that at some point. I don't know if I should just do it when I finish off the van. I don't, I don't know, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this van vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I'm gonna be doing a lot of crazy stuff, more paranormal stuff coming up as always. I love doing that stuff so much. Oh, and let me know if I should drop some merch. I have some designs that I've been drawing out. So let me know if you guys want that. And also I did make a new TikTok for haunted and scary videos that I've been uploading every single day on. And don't forget to check out my main TikTok where I've been converting the van. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.